Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and welcome to the channel. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. If you're not, please subscribe and check out all my reviews. Do a bunch of RC quadcopter gear technology reviews and I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, today we're checking out the Low Pro 250 backpack um, specifically for the Mavic. It's the BP250 Drone Guard backpack from Low Pro and I just got it in and it's kind of neat, man. Um, I've been Basically with my Mavic Pro, I've been kind of limited to about the Flymore combo. Here is the Flymore case that the Flymore combo comes with. But as you start adding accessories and wanting to bring chargers and stuff with you and extra accessories, you really need something larger. So what I've been doing is using this Freewell case. This is an awesome waterproof case, by the way. It's a hard shell case. Um, I usually bring this with me if I'm traveling, you know, keep it really nice and protected in the case. As you may know, I live in Hawaii, and so this kind of case really protects it. But if I'm just kind of going out in the mountains or something, and I don't really need that precarious, really hard protection, this pack pack is perfect because I'd been having to bring two cases before, like this Mavic Pro case that comes in the Flymore, and also that uh, Freewell case that I just showed you. I'd have to bring those together, and it was kind of cumbersome. So Low Pro just sent this BP250 backpack in, and we're gonna go in depth with it. I'm gonna show you everything I have in here and how much stuff you can fit in. You can fit an enormous amount of stuff in here, and it's also much smaller than something like a 350 size backpack. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Just pull the camera back here real quick and you can just see the overall size difference between a 350 size quadcopter and something like the Mavic backpack. You can see how much smaller and lower and lower smaller of a footprint it is for bringing it around. And of course the Mavic is much lighter so everything in here is gonna be much lighter than your whole combo here um, for like something larger like a 355, 350 size Phantom 4 or equivalent backpacks. Okay, so just spinning it around here so we all can get a little bit of a better look at it before we open it up. It's got this cool camo on this portion here and also on the top here you can see that it's got this cool kind of camo print on here. And it's kind of like a gray camo so I really like that. You know, it's kind of breaking up the black look. And the first thing you'll notice is this is not a super soft backpack. This thing has got some rigidness to it, especially on this top portion and a little bit on the sides. So the cool thing about this is this is gonna protect whatever you have in here from smashing. So me pushing this down, like I can't easily push it down so it's not gonna collapse if you throw it in like your truck or something and you have some stuff on top of it. Of course, it's definitely not gonna protect your Mavic as much as something like this. I mean, this is a super hard plastic shell and this is waterproof. This backpack is not waterproof. It's probably somewhat splash proof. So, first thing we can notice is on the top here, we have all of these nylon straps we can kind of attach stuff to. I've seen people throw like their race drone on here. And this is kind of specifically geared to the Mavic. You can see that we've got the, the tagging on here is all like Mavic stuff. Um, but you know, of course this is a 250 size, so you can fit whatever you want in here. You could use it as a drone racing backpack. It's a really nice size. I really like the, you know, the overall look and size of it, but they do just kind of gear it to the Mavic. So before we go ahead and break into it, just spinning it over to the back, even the um, shoulder straps, they have that nice camo, gray camo look to it. And then we have a couple more nylon straps here. This whole thing is padded on the back too. So you can see that we've got padding for your back so it's gonna be very comfortable. And then inside we also have padding here. So working our way down here, we've got this cross chest strap here and then we also have a hook strap. So it'll kind of take off the weight of your shoulders if you go ahead and clip these both really tight on you, just like any other kind of backpack. I almost missed this strap on top. Here's kind of just a handle on top. It's got another one of those nylon straps with the backpack material sewn around it and it feels like it's gonna be really durable, really strong and last a long time. Then on the side we have a couple more pockets. Now these are kind of like, you know, accordion style pockets with an elastic strap here so you can just quickly shove stuff in that you might need to just shove in there like a water bottle or whatever. And there's one on each side. And then of course we have all these tags. So let me cut these tags off so you can kind of see a little bit more in depth on what these tabs say. So it's saying new, 
low pro and it gives you a picture of you know a lot of the accessories you can fit a lot more than what's showing here in this picture in the backpack and it gives you kind of some examples of how to set it up and what it's looking like you can fit an ipad and a computer in here at the same time and this is a good picture here this is kind of showing us um, how these guys have two alternate setups with their Mavic in here. So they have like the controller version up here, then they have another version. The cool thing about this is you can pull out all of these little separators, they're all Velcro, and that's how it kind of looks when uh, somebody has it on. I'm not going to be putting it on for this video, but you can see how it's a, a lot more low profile than a larger like Phantom style backpack. And then a couple more brochures that kind of show us what it's looking like. You can also put your phone in the front pocket there if you wanted to. Usually people have their phone in their pocket in their pants, but that's what you can do. Let me cut this other tag here off here too. Just another tag with the same kind of picture. And without further ado, sorry it's taking me so long to open this up, but let's open it up and I'm gonna show you guys how I have this set up. Unzipping the top. Now this is the part that's really hard. It's like this hard shell. And that's the part that's gonna kind of protect everything. And here's what's going on in here. Okay, so we flip open the top, and first thing we can see is we have this removable inset. So this is kind of like a little accessory pocket here, but you can rip this whole thing off if you wanted to. So I'm really liking how Low Pro is giving us the versatility with all these pockets. In this little mesh pocket, what I chose to put in are just different cables for attaching the Mavic to different kinds of phones, just in case, you know, I'm on a trip. My phone dies, somebody else has an iPhone, I have an Android. I like to have these controller cables that they give us in the Mavic Pack handy just in case something like that happens ever. Then I've got a full set of propellers just right in here. This is great because these are elastic. You can put all your propellers in there or whatever you want it to do, pens or whatever. Say you chose to put all your memory cards and stuff in here and you want to bring this with you but you want to leave the backpack somewhere else in your area, rip this thing off bring this with you with some accessories and you have everything right here by your side if you chose to do that. So a lot of versatility and a lot of options. I'm really liking that. All right, so here's everything I have in here. Now you can you can actually fit, um, gosh, up to like six or more batteries in here. I only have three batteries for the Mavic. I have one in the Mavic right now. This is where the Mavic's sitting in this uh, compartment. Really easy. It's got these elastic with Velcro. You can kind of put them around whatever you want. The Mavic's stuck in there nice and tight and snug. I don't have to worry about that thing banging around or banging into any other peripherals for that matter. I've got the full wall charger here. So that thing's also sitting in there. As well as, check this out, this is the mobile cigarette lighter adapter charger that came with the Flymore combo. So you can fit your entire Flymore combo in here and more. So over here I've got the Flymore combo charge hub. So that also fits in here. And then since I have um, only three batteries, I'm choosing these two pockets to put my batteries in. You can see these two Mavic batteries. And then I chose this pocket to put the Mavic controller in. And of course it also fits any kind of accessories. This is a, a Doobie accessory. I'm, I'm really liking the Doobie accessories. They sent me a few to review. Um, they've got all these kinds of accessories for the Mavic. So I'll go ahead and have their link in the description as well. But I got this thing that's perfect. It keeps your sticks, you know, nice and guarded and centered so they're not flopping around. And this just pushes in here nice and tight. Here is this little um, pad here that you can remove if you wanted to. Another thing that's just Velcroed in there for spacing and making everything snug. Um, what I did was I put these Velcro things, they were kind of more close up this way. I just ripped them out with the Velcro and pushed them back to the top, to both sides, actually to snug in these batteries. So uh, again, getting back to the versatility of this backpack is just awesome. So like I was saying, the Mavic's in the center, nice and snug, that's not going anywhere. And then since I have these three extra pockets here, I chose to just throw in some extra Mavic accessories that I might use. So these are some um, extended landing gear also from Doobie. D-O-U-B-I is the way you you spell it. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce the company, but they did send me some of these to review. So check them out again in the description. Um, but here are some landing gear. You can just extend the height when, when your Mavic is touching the ground if you wanted to. Um, they just snap on. So I've got those and then I've got an alternate set that I bought on eBay actually. And these are a 3D printed set which I think is pretty awesome because these do the same job. They slip on the front feet and then this clips onto the back. And let me just go over this real quick. 
you can see how much longer they are than other Mavic accessories out. So you get another like two, three inches of lift. So if you're in some tall grass or rocks or weeds, um, these might be really cool. I'll have the links to these in the description too. I've used these once and these really get your Mavic up off the ground and they're very, very light because they're 3D printed. You can see how they're not quite as good finish as um, the other Doobie accessories, but they do the job. So that's what I have in these other pockets. I have one pocket here that's just empty. So you, whatever you see fit in putting those again, you can put another three, four, five, six batteries in there if you really wanted to. So lots of versatility again. Let's work our way up to um, the top of the backpack. And this zipper here, this is kind of neat because it just gives you access, direct access to this big pocket that we're gonna get to in a second. So if you need to just throw stuff in there, you can throw it in there from this angle instead of opening this whole thing up that I'm gonna do now. So a couple of other um, nylon straps here on the outside, Velcro hook stuff too if you wanted to. And so here's another pocket, this is getting up to the top and this is where I'm keeping my Mavic Pro filters and filter accessories. So I just got these filters in. These guys are actually uh, Neato Tech. Here's the box they came in here. So I'll also have these down in the description. These are pretty good and they're circular polarized filters that just push right onto the Mavic and they don't interfere with the gimbal calibration. When the gimbal rotates around, if you have some filters on, it, it hits, but these don't. These just push in and are perfect. The thing I like about this case too is that it's just got a little magnetic latch. So there's no clipping or anything. It's just for sure gonna be closed when you put that in your backpack. So pretty cool. Let me just pull one of these out really fast just so you guys get a, um, can get a look of what these Neato Tech filters are all about. So just like any other Mavic filter, um, they all look pretty much the same, just different colors and stuff. And here they are. So this is an ND8, and this is a non-polarized version. The cool thing about this kit is you get four, and you get two that are polarized and two that are non-polarized. Here's an ND8 PL, so that means polarized. So if you're over water and stuff, this will give you much less, it'll cut through the glare of the water. So that's really what I'm using here in Hawaii a lot is these um, circular polarized lenses to really see through that water and see the ocean floor and all the, the beauty of the ocean. More filters, so you can see how we have these two pockets. This is kind of my filter area here. And these are actually Polar Pro filters. These I'm currently using them. I actually have one already on the Mavic. And these ones are pretty awesome. This is a three set of Polar Pro filters. These actually work very well. And the color does match the Mavic really good because they are these kind of goldish color here. Let me pull one out and um, bring it up kind of close to the camera here. Oh, there we go. Those are the Polar Pro uh, Mavic push on filters. And these ones too just push on and won't interfere with the um, gimbal calibration when it first boots up. So I'm using these also. The Polar Pro does come with a case that snaps shut and so you're not going to lose your filters. And that's what I'm keeping in these pockets over here. There's a tiny little pocket on the side here. I also have a Freewell filter. This is just a pure circular polarized filter. So like on not so sunny days, I'm using this because there's no ND in it. It's just a circular polarized filter. You can see there, it says 4K. I'm sure, I'm, I'm not sure why it says 4K, but I guess they're all 4K. But that's the Freewell. And also the Freewell set I'm using came with this cool little brush. So if you get some dirt and dust in your filter before you put it on, you can just brush that. And of course this will work for any filter you have. So keep something like this handy in your backpack or you know something that can clean your lenses, but this is a very handy little pen. And they also have this little clip here. So if you have some keys or something or who knows what, you can clip that on and it's kind of clipped into the bag. All right, cool guys. So there's two more pockets. Hang in there, we're almost done. Uh, there's two more pockets here and let's, unzip the second to the last. Now this is another kind of large little open space pocket. I'm keeping some mounts for the Mavic in here, which I'll show you what those are about in a second. Um, but here's the pocket. So it's just kind of an open area here. We've got one larger little slide pocket. This is where I'm keeping my iPad stuff. So I also have the iPad in here, which I'll show you in a second, but the iPad cable and the charger fit nice and snug in this little pocket here. You can also just put pens or whatever you want. These pockets look like they go all the way down inside. So 
that's all that's in this pocket. And what I wanted to show you what I had in here are a couple of things. This one here, this is a Skyree tablet mount for the Mavic controller. You just put this, this is what I've been using recently in some of my reviews. You just clamp this in the Mavic and this guy pops up here and then you can put like up to a, I think it's a 10 inch tablet. So I'm using my uh, 10 inch iPad Air in here, really convenient. It doesn't break down quite as good as some of the other ones. That's the maximum breakdown there, not too bad. Now this is that brand um, Doobie, D-O-U-B-I, I've been talking about. I'll have the link down in the description. And check this out. So it's a nice compact, this is all aluminum. And I'm holding this right in this pocket. I'm probably gonna be using this over the other one I just got, just because this is more compact and more durable. But while we're at it, let me just open this up so you can see how the part that clamps into the Mavic controller uh, just is held in by the spring. And I guess you could also do the same thing with this one. This one's just not quite as compact there. That's as compact as you're gonna make that. But compared, look at this guy. So this part is aluminum, this part is plastic. And this is really neat. This kind of like surprised me how cool this is. So the way you work this is it's all hinged. It's got these hex screws here, aluminum and steel. And these two guys hinge up and they create that little ball joint. And then you have your spot to clamp into your Mavic controller or even the Spark. This kind of, the same kind of mounts like this work with the Spark as well. And then you loosen this guy and all you're doing is popping this in. So you're popping that guy in and then screwing it tight. And you've got a full-fledged tablet mount in that compact design for your tablet, for your large tablet. Nice spring-loaded here, it's got foam on both sides. And of course it's saying for Mavic on here, but this will also fit the Spark controller. So pretty cool, so this is probably the one I'm gonna be taking around just because it seems uh, very durable. Of course you're gonna not wanna lose that screw there on the back. Very simple, once you take that off, these two guys just fold down. Boop, pop right in there, really neat, and then clamp the whole thing like a tablet. And there you go, look how compact that tablet mount is. They also give you a little bag for it. So be sure to put that in the bag. I mean, you do have this aluminum here, so if this hits anything really hard, you don't want that to be you know, scratching or um, damaging anything in your backpack. And last but not least is the final pocket in the bottom. Okay, and this is where I'm gonna show you how, where we can put our computer and our tablet. So there it is. So it's just a very long, all the way down the back pocket. This top portion here actually has a picture of a tablet and this will hold up to a 10 inch tablet. So this is an iPad Air 2. It holds it in perfect. And then this is where you can slide in a laptop up to, it says 15 inches. So you have the versatility of putting tablets, laptops, anything and everything you want. I chose to kind of have the screen facing down this way towards my back, just so you know if something happens where there's a lot of pressure, all the stuff from in here is not um, putting pressure on the screen. So I like to put my stuff back towards the padding. And this is a really tough, hard padding. This thing is not gonna be any kind of chintzy little foam. This feels like a really tough foam that's not gonna break and not gonna let sharp objects puncture your stuff. It zips up nice and tight. And that's it, look how compact that whole thing is. That's awesome to me. Okay, so flipping this over, and I almost forgot to show you guys, here's where I have my cell phone in right now. It's been buzzing a little bit since I've been doing this review. But I almost forgot about this. So they give you this little secret pocket on the backpack shoulder strap. And I have a LG G6 phone in here. So this is a, what is this, like a five and a half, six inch phone. And so it looks like it's kind of maxing out the space of the pocket. But there we go, it does fit, it does Velcro over, Velcro shut, that thing's never gonna fall out of there unless you undo this Velcro. So another cool option. You don't have to only put your phone in there, of course, you could put like a wallet, money clip, whatever you want, information, ID. Anyway guys, that's the Low Pro GP250 backpack. I hope you really enjoyed that little quick review. And it really does fit a lot of stuff. One more quick little unzip and look at everything I have in the main pocket. A great backpack for the Mavic. I'm gonna be taking this around with me because you can fit everything in here. If you even had more stuff, you can see how much more room I have. I've still got loads of room in these other pockets. And it's really small and compact for a backpack with some good rigid protection. Anyway guys, links down in the description if you want to check this thing out. I'm going to be using this a lot and I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.
Oh,